Hi everyone, and welcome to Big Ideas Growing Minds. We are so happy you're here. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Your support means the world to us. Today's big idea comes from Robert Cialdini and his classic book, Influence, The Psychology of Persuasion. In the book, he enlightens the psychology behind making people say yes and how to apply these principles ethically in business and everyday situations. He walks the reader through six universal principles of influence, explains how you can use them to become a skilled persuader, and, just as importantly, how to defend yourself against dishonest influence attempts. Number 1. Reciprocation – The Internal Pool to Repay What Another Person Has Provided Us When someone does you a favor or gives you a gift, it's common courtesy to pay them back. It's kind, fair, and very civil. But what if someone were to do you a favor solely to get something in return? Reciprocity refers to a subconscious rule ingrained into every human's mind. The rule simply states that if someone does something benevolent to or for us, we are obligated to do something in return. You can defend yourself from tactics of reciprocity by being vigilant and seeing favors and gifts for what they really are. If they're innocent offerings, feel free to happily accept, but as soon as you detect a sales trick, remind yourself that you have free will and are not obligated to pay anything back. Number 2. Commitment and Consistency Making a choice or taking a stand and subsequently working hard to behave consistently in order to justify the decision. Why is commitment valued so highly? There are two main reasons. First, commitment breeds consistency, which is highly desirable and seen as a sign of integrity, honesty, and intellect. Second, and more personally, committing simply makes life easier. Commitment and consistency are both great ways to save time and brain power. But what if you were tricked into a small decision that made you commit to a larger decision later on? Compliance professionals use this all the time. Some nonprofits gather petition signatures simply because the act of signing is a commitment, and those who sign will probably be more inclined to support their cause if subsequently asked. The best defense is making sure not to be too rigid. As soon as you realize that your consistency is leading you into a choice you don't want to make, ignore the impulse that says you have to stick rigidly to the plan. Number 3. Social Proof Looking to people that are similar to us to provide correct actions. How do we know what's correct in a situation where we have no context? Most people simply decide to act in accordance with the crowd. Following a proven lead reduces our uncertainty by taking away personal responsibility. Advertisers use social proof all the time, reminding us that 50 million fans love this music. These numbers make us think the crowd knows something we don't and prompts us to follow along. Defending against social proof-based tactics can be especially tricky. Since the crowd often provides useful information, you don't want to discard this wisdom altogether. Instead, the best defense is to simply analyze the situation. First, you'll want to see if the crowd's information is real, and second, you always want to check the crowd's decision against your own information and morals. Number 4. Liking – The Tendency to Agree with People We Like As a general rule, we are more compliant toward people we like. This is why salespeople often compliment us and claim similarity to us. So how do we defend ourselves against tactics of liking? We need to focus on the effect the likable person is trying to bring about, and if you realize they're trying to get you to agree with something, you'll know to be alert. Number 5. Authority We are more likely to say yes to others if we see them as authority figures. As humans, we feel a sense of duty to authority figures. Since birth, we're trained to follow the instructions of those who know better. Naturally, compliance professionals have many ways to exploit this. The most common is seen in commercials, where experts such as doctors tell us what brands to buy. Against TV commercials and savvy advertisements, the best defense is to simply be aware that these people hold no real authority in your life and shouldn't override what you know is right. 
In real life situations, you need to ask yourself two questions. Is the person really an expert? And if so, can we trust them? Number six, scarcity. We want more of what is less available or decreasing in availability. Have you ever wondered why collectors seem to love flawed items so much? We'd think imperfections would make items worth less, but they're a collector's dream for one reason, scarcity. For humans, any item, even something we don't really want or need, becomes more valuable when it seems less available. As with other weapons of influence, scarcity-based tactics prey on a specific mental shortcut. The idea that the harder something is to get, the better it must be. The best defense is to train yourself to notice if there's a sneaky tactic at work. Whenever you feel excited about a limited time scale or limited release product, and with that, we conclude this video on Influence by Robert Cialdini. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to give it a like. Take care and see you soon.